On a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. Hands behind your back. Give me your wallet. Raymond K. Hassel, 1320 Southeast, Banning Apartment A. Small cramped basement apartment, Raymond? How did you know? Because it gives shitty basement apartments letters instead of numbers. Raymond, you're going to die. <laughs> Is that your mom and dad? Mom and dad are going to have to call up kindly Dr. So-and-so. Pick up your dental records. You want to know why? Because there's going to be nothing left to your face. No, come on, come on! An expired community college student ID. What'd you study, Raymond? S stuff. Stuff? Were the midterms hard? <laughs> I asked you what you studied. Biology mostly. Why? I don't know. What did you want to be, Raymond K. Hessel? The question, Raymond, was what did you want to be? Answer her, Raymond. Jesus! Veterinarian! Veterinarian! Animals! Animals! Stuff! Stuff, I got that. But that means you have to get more schooling. Too much school. Would you rather be dead? No, please. You'd rather die here on your knees in the back of a convenience store? I'm keeping your license. I'm gonna check in on you. I know where you live. If you're not on your way to becoming a veterinarian in six weeks, you will be dead. Now run on home. I feel ill. Imagine how he feels. Come on, this wasn't funny. What the fuck was the point of that? Because tomorrow will be the most beautiful day of Raymond K. Hessel's life. His breakfast will taste better than any meal you and I have ever tasted. You had to give it to her. Come on. She had a plan. And it started to make sense in a Tyler sort of way. No fear, no distractions. The ability to let that which does not matter truly slide.